Hello guys, what's up? Here is your guy, Emmanuel. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to securely store your Terraform credentials. Um, when I say credentials, I'm talking about your access keys and your secret keys. How do you securely store these keys in your Terraform code in such a way that when you push your code, right, into a remote repository like GitHub or Bitbucket, no one can access these credentials. How do you do that? And by the way, by the way, I just want to say something. I just want to say something. I know I've been missing from YouTube and making videos and teaching people. I've been missing from that. And I just want to say I'm sorry. It's been a crazy, 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 crazy year for me. So... Yeah, but, you know, I'm coming back. I'll start making more videos and talking about, you know, technology and, you know, DevOps engineering and all this fun stuff. And by the way, I'm starting a brand new playlist on my YouTube channel, which is going to be entirely on Terraform. And also one thing, I know initially this YouTube channel was created to teach people AWS, but guess what? I'm switching to DevOps. It's going to be... 100% DevOps engineering. So if you're here and you want to be a DevOps engineer and you, 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 you want to be a DevOps engineer or become a DevOps engineer, you know, just subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. So without taking much of your time, let's get started. So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to, you know, securely set up your provider in Terraform or how to securely store your credentials in Terraform. By credentials, you know, I'm talking about your access keys and your secret keys. And by the way, let's go, let's start by having this access keys and the secret keys. So to have this access keys, I will simply go right here. I am. And what I will do is to... Guys, my internet connection is so slow. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. I will go to users. Then I'll create a new user right here. So you can see this is a user right here called Terraform, right? So um, I've created this user already. The user is called Terraform. But I'll just generate some, you know, access keys and secret keys. So if I go to security credentials, I would have my access key right here. So technically, I already have this key, this access keys and these secret keys. They are, they are securely stored somewhere, so you guys should not worry. So how do I pass these access keys and these secret keys to Terraform? So right here, I'm in Terraform right here. So let's say you've been tasked to create a Terraform resource. I'm going to create the simplest resource in AWS, which is what? An EC2 instance. That's what I'm going to create. So to create an EC2 instance, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to create a file, which I'll call this ec2.tf. And I'll hit enter. And in here, I'm going to specify my uh, configurations to create that EC2 instance. So usually that EC2 instance is a resource. So I'm going to start by saying that resource right there. Then, you know, then you have to specify the type of resource you want to create. So I'm going to do AWS underscore instance. That's what I want to create. Then you have to give your EC2 instance a name. So I'm just going to give it a demo like that instance. Like that. Then I'm going to have this guy right here. And the first thing I will specify is my... Amazon machine image equals to, don't worry about that. Then the next one is instance type. So that would be instance underscore type equals to, and that would be T2 micro, right? So I'm going to do a T2 micro right there. Nice. Then for the AMI, quickly go back to my AWS account. And I will grab my AMI. So I will go to services, EC2. Then once um 
once I'm right here, I will simply go to EC2, then launch EC2, and I should have an MI right here. So this is the one we want to use. So I'll grab this, and I will securely come back. Yeah, and I'll pass this in here uh, like this, right here. So this right here can create an EC2 instance, right? This can actually create an EC2 instance. So I'll save this. So just save it. Once it's saved, I will then do a Terraform uh, format to fix my, you know, syntax. And for some reason, it says on ec2.tf line one, the resource AWS underscore instance demo instance resource AWS underscore instance demo instance. So there's a problem with this. So I'm just going to do. Oh, I know what's wrong. Oh, it's okay. So I deleted something I was not supposed to delete. So I'm going to do like uh, curly brackets right there. So save that. And I'll do a Terraform format again. And that should work cool. As you can see, it just formatted my, you know, Terraform code, which is good. It's good to use this command right here called Terraform format. Then the next thing I want to do is I want to clear. Then I want to do a Terraform plan. Terraform plan right there. And you see, it's going to fail, right? Why? Because there is no provider. There's you know no provider right so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to show you two ways you can set up your provider one way is not secured and i'm going to tell you exactly why that the first way is not secured so let's go with the first way so with the first way i'm passing my provider directly in my terraform configuration code so what i'm doing is i'll simply just come somewhere around here and i'll pass my pro my provider right there so I'll do a provider. I'll see the provider is AWS. Then I would do curly brackets. I'll hit enter. Then I'll specify the region. So I'll do region equals to US, US East one. Then I will do access keys. So I'll start by, I'll do an access underscore key equals to secret underscore key equals to. Then uh, within this, I will pass my access keys and my secret keys. So this is my access key. I'll grab my access key from here. Uh, do not try to use this access keys because I'll definitely delete this access keys after I'm done with this video. So, and I'll grab this other key. And this is my secret key. So, I'll put it in here. Perfect. So, now I do have my provider right here and I'll save this. I do have my provider right here. So, this is... The, this. These are the credentials Terraform would use to authenticate with my, you know, cloud provider, which is AWS. And this is the key Terraform would also use to be able to go and create this EC2 instance in my AWS account. So if I do a file, save, and I redo a Terraform plan right there. You should see that it says that uh, invalid reference is to the TF line two provider AWS that da, 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 US is one. So there is something It's just for me to put this thing right here and everything will be fine. So as I said, another thing you can do before you even do the Terraform plan is to do a, you can do a Terraform format. Just to make sure everything is fine. You see, it formats everything. That's good. Then, you know, just do a Terraform validate. Just to make sure everything is fine. You hit that. You hit enter. Uh, I love this uh, green color when I see it. 
is green. I don't care what it says. Even if it says failed, but it's green. Within me, I still feel happy. I just like to see this green. That green color. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a Terraform plan. Terraform plan. And it's going to use these credentials. Cool. As you can see, these are all the things that will be created right here. All of these things will be created. Now I can do a Terraform. Clear. And um, I already did a clear already. Let me do a Terraform apply. And I hit enter. And um, it's going to create an EC2 instance. So if I go into my AWS account, I should see an EC2 instance being created right now with Terraform. So if I go on instances, I refresh. Uh, it's not yet. Let me see. Oh, yeah, I have to see yes. Yes. Then if I refresh, I should see an EC2 instance. Perfect. Right here. As you can see, this is an EC2 instance that's coming up right here. All right, which is exactly what we want. We want this EC2 instance to be to be here, right? We want to see that EC2 instance to know that you know our Terraform is working, our provider is working, and everything is good. But now this is not the point of this video. What's the problem with this video? The problem with this video is that our credentials are stored in our Terraform configuration, which is not good. Why? Because usually this Terraform configuration is not being stored on your laptop, right? You have to push it somewhere. You have to push it to a remote repository like GitHub or Bitbucket. So if you're storing your credentials like this in plain text and someone, for some reason, gets a hold of that uh, file or of this file, that person can easily use these credentials to access your AWS account. So we don't want that. We don't want a situation where people can easily access our AWS account, you know, using the credentials we, you know, made a mistake and stored it in our Terraform configuration file. So how do you store your credentials? How do you securely store your credentials? You store your credentials using a tool called AWS Vault. And that's a tool by 99design. So if you quickly go and you do uh, AWS dash vault, you hit enter, it should take you to a page that looks like this. As you can see, this is it. It's a tool by 99designs. So you can actually come here and you, you know, you install vault. They're going to show you exactly how to install vault. If you are using homebrew, you can just run this command homebrew dash dash cast AWS vault and you install vault. So basically, vault is a way to securely store your AWS credentials. So I'm going to show you exactly how it works. So rather than me passing my credentials like this in plain text, like this, I will simply do AWS vault at since i already have you know aws vault installed so you have you make sure you install aws vault it's very simple just follow the instructions in github and i promise you that you will have aws vault running on top of your machine so you just run this simple command aws dash vault at and the name of the profile you want to add like for example let's say uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to call this uh, Jijong. That would be my last name. Dev, like that. Jijong DevOps, like that. And I'm going to hit enter. Then it's going to ask me for the uh, to enter the access key ID. So I'll grab this access key ID right here, and I will paste it in here, and I'll hit enter. Then it's going to ask me for the secret key and I'll grab this secret key right here. I'm going to hit that in here and I'll hit enter. And it's going to, it's going to, a message would pop up. Let me show you guys how it looks like. This is how it looks like. 
It says AWS Vault wants to use the AWS Vault keychain, and it's going to ask me to put in my password to authorize, you know, this transaction. I'm 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 just going to call it a transaction. So I'll do this. I'll put in my credentials. And I will hit enter and boom. You see, it says added credentials to profile, added credentials to profile Dijon dash DevOps in Vault. So now these access keys and these secret keys are securely stored in Vault. So what do I do? I simply take it away from my Terraform configuration right here. And I will save this. And I will save this. Now, if I do, for example, let's say I want to do a Terraform destroy. If I do a Terraform destroy, um, technically it's not going to work, right? It's not going to work because, you know, they, there is no provider technically. There are no access keys and there are no secret keys. So I have to run a command, a vault command. So I'm going to do... Uh, uh, I'm going to do AWS dash vault list to list all my profiles. And as you can see, I do have a profile here called Gijon DevOps, right? Then the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to use this profile, right? To destroy this EC2 instance we just created. So I'll do so. I'll run another command AWS vault exec like this. The name of the profile which is this profile, like that, dash, dash, Terraform, destroy. And I will hit enter. Then this thing right here will pop up, this thing. AWS Vault wants to use your confidential information stored in AWS Vault, that is Gijon dash DevOps, in your keychain, AWS. So what what is happening right now is that um, Terraform is trying to use those credentials. Let me put it this way: I will simply authorize Terraform to use those credentials by putting in my password like that. Or oh, I think I messed up with the password. Let me put it again. Like that. And check out what will happen right now. Are you seeing this? Boom. It works. Now, if I do yes, it's going to destroy that EC2 instance. So if I go back to my... Um, hold on one second. It's going to destroy. It's taking time. I don't know why it's taking time. So if I go back to my AWS account, I go to EC2 dashboard. I go to instances. Uh, you're going to see that that particular EC2 instance is shutting down. So, guys, that is how you securely store your AWS credentials. As you can see, my access keys and my secret key is not sitting within my Terraform configuration, which means that even if I push this code to github or bitbucket and someone somehow downloads this code they cannot do anything with it because you know my access keys and my secret keys are not here they are securely stored in vault so this is how you actually store your keys or your credentials in terraform so next time you go into an interview and they ask you the question do not tell the hiring manager that you store them in plain text. Like, oh, yo, bro, that's red flag. So, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, share this video with someone who had doubt on how to store their credentials. Or, you know, just share it with friends so that people can, you know, learn how to store their AWS credentials in Terraform. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and see you in my next video. Bye.